the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution welcome back all my dear fifth standard children so how are you all by now you would have got your grades isn't it after exams are you all happy with your grades all these grades reveal the efforts you have taken for exam isn't it and those who have got b and c grades don't worry there is always a next time but don't hesitate to put more and more effort then you can eventually score a grades okay so i'm talking a lot about effort so we are moving into a new chapter a little effort lot of work so children this is an artificial intelligence era isn't it robotic era man is thinking about going to moon residing in mars and uh, uh, manufacturing new robots isn't it so in this technical era let us not forget all those simple machines which helps us to make our task easier or which is helping us in our making our own efforts okay so we will move into the chapter for example your courtyard is full of garbage all pebbles dried leaves something all is lying around your courtyard you want to clean it out what will you do yes we have often seen in school in our school itself a man walking around using a wheelbarrow yes this is wheelbarrow you have seen often isn't it a man moving around with his wheelbarrow picking up all heavy articles collecting it in that basket and dumping in one place so this is a wheelbarrow and this simple machine helps in our efforts to make our task easier can you think of some other simple machines hmm mixer grinder no 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 these machines work using electrical energy i'm talking about those simple machines where we put our own efforts using our hands so such simple machines we should not forget isn't it are you getting confused we'll move to a picture which is given in your textbook yes look at paramu chetan what is he doing he is husking a coconut how do you peel off the husks of a coconut usually an axe is used or a chopper is used koduvalu ubhayogikam allengil you can use a coconut husking device which is easier this coconut husking device is makes the task of husking the coconut much more easier so here this coconut husking device is a simple machine which helps our task which helps doing our task much more easier so what are simple machines devices which help to do our task easily are called as simple machines okay shall we move into some more simple machines like that yes look at the pictures yes first one is it's a hammer a hammer is used to pluck the nails and the second one is a spanner to remove nut and bolts the third one is a screw driver to drive the nails next is forceps to pick things and the next one is a nut cracker to crack nuts and the next one is a knife 
you can use cut things using knives and the next one is lemon squeezer to squeeze out squeeze out the juice and the next one is lid opener which helps in opening the lids of soda bottles or squash bottles and the next one is scissors which helps to cut things you can see a pulley which is used to draw water and the next one is wheelbarrow which we have already discussed so all these are simple machines okay which helps to do our task easily shall we tabulate the simple devices and the tasks done by these simple machines yes we'll do that children i have noted down the simple machines and the tasks done using these simple machines so you can note this down in your file okay so these are the simple machines which help in doing our task easily children now we will move to the next picture which is given in your textbook you can see three pictures isn't it in the first picture you see one is a grown up man and the other one is a small child so this grown up man is able to lift that young child in a seesaw in the second picture you can see both the children are of the same age and and so the seesaw is balanced and look at the third picture or towards one end you can see a very young boy and towards the other end you can see a grown up boy so how is this young child able to lift that grown up child how is it possible some magic is being applied here we will discuss what is that magic okay so here it is a magic isn't it a small child is able to lift a young man but look at the position of the young man he has moved towards the hinge isn't it what is hinge a naduvile bagalli that is called hinge he has moved towards the middle portion of the hinge so that is why when the position is being changed that this boy this young boy is able to lift that other side of the seesaw okay now we will move to one more experiment which is given in your textbook the materials required for this experiment are what are the materials two empty match boxes a pencil a ruler double sided tape and six marbles okay so fix the pencil to the board cardboard using a double tape and you can keep a ruler on the top of the pencil and to the both the end of the ruler the uh, uh, scale you can keep two empty match boxes one match box has only one marble and the other empty match box has got five marbles is it is it possible for the match box with one marble to lift the other side of the marble other side of the ruler with five marbles is it possible to lift yes just like how we saw in seesaw so if you change the position easily it can be done this experiment you can try at home okay all of you try this experiment at home and inform me and tell me about your observations okay so we will go to one more picture okay where you can see a man trying to move a big stone is it possible to move that stone using your uh, arms or using your hands no it's not possible so look at the man what is he doing he is using a rod iron rod this iron rod we call it as lever l e v e r lever so a lever is being used to move the position of that big stone and can you see a small stone placed under that lever yes so here the man is trying to move that big stone using a lever so lever also acts as a simple machine here okay so lever is a what are levers levers are rigid rods that are free to turn about a fixed point levers are simple machines because they make our work easier so using this picture we will discuss about three important terms children look at the picture yes there is a stone there 
a man is applying effort using a lever. So, this iron rod is called as lever. Okay. So, we have three important terms here. Look at the uh, bottom portion of the lever, you can see a small stone placed under it. That point is called as fulcrum. So, what is fulcrum? What is fulcrum? The point at which a lever turns is called as fulcrum. So, this point is fulcrum. So, next term is effort. So, where is the effort being applied? You can see the man is applying all his effort on the other side of the lever, on the top portion of the lever, isn't it? So, that position is called as effort. And one more point is there that is resistance. What is resistance? Resistive force is called as resistance. Which is the resistive force here? The mass or the weight of the stone is resistance. So, we have three points here. The stone or the weight of the stone is resistance. The middle point or the point at which the lever turns freely is called as fulcrum. The point where the man applies force is called as effort. So, we have three important terms fulcrum, effort and resistance. Okay? We discussed about simple machines. Now, we will take one all the simple machines one by one and we will analyze where are these three points in each simple machine. Okay? First thing we will take a stapler. So, look at the stapler. Where is the fulcrum? Towards the end we have fulcrum and where is the uh, effort? You place the effort on the towards this end and where is the resistance? In the middle, is not it? So, F R E, is not it? So, here this is how we identify the three points that is fulcrum effort and resistance in simple machines. We will move to the next simple machine. Forceps, see look at the forceps, where is the fulcrum in forceps? So, the joining point is fulcrum and uh, here we apply effort is given in between and the resistance is towards this end. So, F E R. So, the position has changed here. Okay? The position of fulcrum effort and resistance keep changing in different simple machines. Okay? In each simple machine. We will move to the next simple machine that is cutting player. Look at cutting player. Where is the fulcrum in cutting player? It is in the middle and look at the effort is on the other side towards that end and resistance is here in this end where we break things or where the things are being cut that portion is called resistance. So, R F E. Okay? Now, we will move to the next simple machine. Scissors. Look at scissors. Where is the fulcrum? Between the middle portion is the joining portion is fulcrum. Okay. Where do you apply effort? So, there is that is effort and where are things being cut here in this side. So, this is resistance. So, R F E. Okay. We will move to the next simple machine. Nutcracker. Look at nutcracker. Where is the fulcrum in nutcracker? Observe keenly. Towards the end you have nut fulcrum and in between middle you have resistance and where do you put your effort? On the other end. So, F R E. Okay? So, we will move to the next simple machine. Lemon squeezer. Look at lemon squeezer. Yes, where is the fulcrum? On the this side. On the end, towards the end you have fulcrum. In the middle you have resistance and where do you apply your effort? On the other side. So, F R E. So, 
now it is easy for you if i give you a simple machine and if i ask you to identify the three points that is fulcrum resistance and effort you can easily identify isn't it what is fulcrum yes the point where it moves around freely that is called fulcrum or the joining point part is called as fulcrum where you apply effort that is effort point and where you see resistance evdeyana cut inadu evdeyana amarana po lemon squeezer like it is being pressed lemon is being pressed that portion is called as resistance okay so you can easily identify all these three points right now we'll move to one more picture which is given in your textbook look at the picture you can see three pictures a lid is being opened using a spoon we often do this isn't it endengilakke juice or la tinil verna food items thorakkumbo nammal vegam poi adukale poite spoon eduthittu vararund le spoon inde position nokku look at the position of the hand in each picture in the first picture it is towards the bottom the second picture middle power part of the spoon is being held and look at the third picture the end part of the spoon is held എവിടെയാണ് പെട്ടെന്ന് സ്പൂൺ ഇത് ലിഡ് ഓപ്പൺ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുക യെസ് ദ തേർഡ് പിക്ചർ ഈസ് റൈറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു അപ്ലൈ ഫോഴ്സ് ഓൺ ദ എൻഡ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ സ്പൂൺ യു ക്യാൻ ഈസിലി ഓപ്പൺ ദ ലിഡ് ഹിയർ ഈവൻ ദോ ദ സ്പൂൺ ഈസ് എ കിച്ചൺ ടൂൾ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ആസ് എ ലീവർ ഹിയർ ഓക്കെ സോ വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിങ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടേംസ് ലീവർ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് അനദർ സിമ്പിൾ മെഷീൻ okay lever is another simple machine which makes our task easier now we'll move to another picture look at two more pictures here a woman is drawing water from well in the first picture you can see there is a pulley there so it is easy for that lady to draw water and look at the second picture there is no pulley and see how difficult it is for that woman to draw water from the well isn't it and look at the position or the direction of the force where is force being applied here in both the pictures where is force being applied the force is being applied on the rope isn't it so in the first picture you can see the rope is being done like this so you can you are pushing you are applying force downwards whereas in the second picture what do you see so it is upwards the force is moving upwards or vertically isn't it so the position of force the direction of force is also important plays an important role in making the task easier so we are seeing one more simple machine that is pulley so all these are simple machines which make our task day to day tasks easier isn't it the direction in which the force is being applied also plays an important role to make the task easier okay whereas in the case of opening the lid the position or the place where you apply effort isn't it that plays an important role if you apply effort in the uh, bottom portion of the spoon it is not easy if you if you apply force in the middle portion also it is not easy but if you apply force in the end portion of the spoon the lid opens easily so two important things are there one is the position where you apply effort and the second one is the direction of force all these plays an important role to make your task easy using simple machines okay now i'm winding up we don't have any assignments only that tabular column is there that you can note down either in textbook or in your file okay so bye we'll see in the next video session